As we continue to push for a return to normal life, city and state officials are urging anyone 12 and older to get their booster shot. The Food and Drug Administration authorized the boosters last week. It is the first time the vaccines have been updated since the original shots rolled out in December of 2020. The new vaccines target and offer more protection from the Omicron variants, which are now the more dominant form of COVID-19. Now, with each new medical development, there are always new questions. And joining us now to discuss the new booster shot is Dr. Jerry Zuckerman. He is the vice president of infection prevention and control at Hackensack Meridian Health in New Jersey. Doc, good to have you with us this morning. Thanks so much. Good morning, Chris. Thank you for having me. So let me ask you, what is different about this new booster? Yeah, so as you mentioned, this is the first time the vaccine has been updated since it first became available. The difference is that it contains, it's called a bivalent vaccine. So it not only contains MR, mRNA against the original version, it also contains MR, mRNA against the Omicron B4, B5 variants. Uh, so it affords pr greater protection for the variant that's currently circulating. And doctor, what is the efficacy of the new booster and who should get it? If you got a booster in the spring, should you get one now? Is that booster waning in efficacy? Yeah, so we, we do know that efficacy wanes with time after your original uh, vaccination or after a booster. Um, and that this uh, vaccine, while it has not specifically been studied yet in protecting against Omicron B4, B5, we know that in our experience uh, with the previous vaccines that it is very effective in preventing serious infections, preventing death um, from COVID-19. Uh, so there's no reason to think that this would act any differently. Um, people who are, it is currently recommended by the FDA and CDC that anyone over the age of 12 receive a booster with a bivalent vaccine. Certainly if you're in one of the high risk groups, such as uh, an older individual, uh, people with uh, multiple medical conditions, such as diabetes or CHF or immunosuppressed, um, those are the ones who should be getting it uh, sooner than later. Uh, same side effects with this shot as the other boosters? Yes, so you know, in, in studies that looked at uh, versions of the vaccine against other variants, exact same side effects as we saw with the original one. Uh, you may have some uh, soreness at the injection site, uh, fever, chills, pain, uh, aches and pains that go away within 24, 48 hours. But nothing that's new, nothing that is serious of, uh, of concern at this time. And does it matter which vaccine you get, Moderna or Pfizer, and whether you got one of those earlier, does that make a difference? Yeah, so the, the CDC does recommend to stick with the same type of uh, vaccine product that you received originally. Uh, but they do say, and, and we do know that if you mix vaccines, it will not affect uh, your, either your response to the vaccine or increase the number of side effects. So my advice is that um, if you are getting your bivalent vaccine, uh, if they had Moderna and you previously had Pfizer, get the Moderna vaccine. You get whatever's available to you at that moment. Now, we know the new booster targets, the Omicron variant, but uh, there are, I guess, new variants that could crop up. Is that a concern here that this booster may not be able to take care of that as well? Yeah, so, you know, we, that that's the uh, thing we've learned with uh, uh, COVID-19 is that uh, it continually, the virus continued to mutate and change. Uh, currently, the, the, the major and variants that are circulating are B4, B5. We have not seen uh, emergence of new variants at this time, but that is always a risk. Um, it, so, yeah, I'm sorry. sorry. No, sorry, go ahead, Doc, sorry. So having the vaccine now will not only protect you against this, but it will also boost your immune response against something that may emerge in, in, the, in, the, in the near future. And if you've, had, uh, if you've had this latest variant in the last couple of weeks or you're currently at home with COVID right now, how long do you need to wait before you get this booster? So in general, you can get the vaccine immediately after you get uh, done with isolation. But it, it's recommended that you can wait two to three months um, before getting a, a booster dose. Um, so for those individuals, uh, since there's no other uh, variants currently circulating, uh, it's certainly reasonable to wait for eight to 12 weeks. Dr. Zuckerman, thank you so much. Vice President of Infection Prevention and Control with Hackensack Meridian Health. We appreciate you taking some time to talk to us this morning.
Thank you for having me. All right. Well, for more information on the booster and the latest on the coronavirus pandemic, head to our website, cbsnewyork.com.